Hello there. Um, I recently created this WhatsApp user interface just for the chats. Now what I want to show you is how to rename the components. We have recently added functionality to rename components. For example, there's this button one and button two here, which is this search and this menu button because it's in the home end buttons. So we want to rename it to be something that is more uh, meaningful. So what you can do is to select the component itself and then you click rename here. What I've done is also move some of the buttons to the menu here so that it's easy to access. So we're using this one, rename. So it's button one, we're going to call it button search, you know, and then after that we do a confirmation. So what the app will do is to rename that component to be the new name because some other components here might have parent-child relationships. So it needs to do actually a, a recursive renaming kind of functionality. So button two, which is the menu here, we're going to also rename that button two, rename it to button menu, you know, so that it's easier to identify what is it all about. Our user interface is still working properly and then we can close this the segment which is all of this we can give it also another username uh, component name segment one let's call it uh, 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 whatsapp segment whatsapp segment which seems to be a proper name so uh, that is sorted out. It has renamed the segment there. And then the first segment button, which is this one here, is made out of, um, if we open it and look at what we have changed, the value is camera, the icon is camera, the layout is icon only, the mode is empty. And then I've just set some things there. So we can call it sec camera so let's call it sec camera so that it gets a proper nice name and then it has been renamed you know and then this segment button style uh, also the parent id has been renamed so which is also okay uh, we can rename that style if we want but i'll leave it for now and then this is segment chats which is this one here uh, WhatsApp segment. This is chats. Let's rename it to seg chats so that it's more appropriate. And then the other segment button is status. Let's rename it to seg status. We change seg status. So which is this one? This is in material design, you know, because if we set it to be in iOS mode, um, it doesn't appear like this. So we change this one to be segment calls. So we select it, rename it to set calls, and then we confirm it. So all our components now are renamed to be what we want them to be. So this is all good. Um, we have a fab button here and then we have a list here. We can also rename all of those components to make it more easier to, 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 uh, this, this list here is in, 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 in the chat tab. So let's rename it and make it to be a list of charts, you know, so that it makes sense because it is a list of charts after all. And then this here is a chart item, which is what you see here is a chart item. Let's check, let's rename it to be a chart item because we can use this, this for templating, you know. So you can continue renaming everything as you want it to be, uh, as this functionality works. Now, for example, um, you want to download the resources that you have used in your project. Like if you see for this avatar here, there is that resource here, 
which is basically taken from the list of resources that are here. Uh, so if, for example, which is Angela here, so to download the resources for your project, uh, we've added the zip functionality here to zip all your resources that you use. The resources could be images, could be files for the loti players and things like that. But what you need to do then, because you're going to be building source code from this, you can just go to download resources here. And what it's going to do is project and then download the resources, you know. So it has downloaded the resources, there's the file. And then you say, okay, to view your file. Uh, then, uh, okay, let me rather open this list from here. Open the file. And then inside that file is the saved file that is inside the database, pocket-based database. So which basically means that in your application, you'll be able to add this on the file step when you are creating the source code uh, based on this template. So what I've done so far is to show you how to rename components uh, with the new functionality that has been added. Because there's a clone here and then there's a rename here. And also we've changed the menu so that it's more uh, user-friendly, like compact in a way, because this was getting bigger. And then uh, we've also shown you how to download the resources. Of course, the undo and the do processes we've shown you uh, indicated in the previous um, video things that are working. But so far, that is it.